Hi there, ready to install your Z6950 Hydro X power faucet system? Great, I'll walk you through the steps and throw in a few pro tips to save you some time and labor along the way. But before we do that, your Z6950 faucet should include these parts. Here are some of the recommended tools for installation. Okay, let's get started. First, shut off both the hot and cold water supply valves. If you have an existing faucet, test it to make sure the water is fully shut off and then uninstall the faucet. Ensure the sink deck is clear, clean, and free of debris. Prep the faucet by installing the aerator. Install the aerator into the spout using the key. If necessary, use water as a lubricant to prevent damage to the aerator O-ring. Run the sensor cable and spout shank through the black base gasket. Then run the sensor cable and spout shank through the hole in your sink deck. Gently rest the faucet and gasket on the sink. Install the shank hardware as shown here. Be sure that the sensor cable runs freely through the cutout in the black spacer. Hand tighten the brass nut and check that the faucet spout and gasket are properly positioned. Then tighten the brass nut with your wrench. Connect the Hydro X Power Hydro Generator to the electronics module as seen here, making sure that the black O-ring is within the hex nut adapter. Tighten the connection. Connect the L-filter to the bottom of the electronics module and tighten the connection. Connect the sensor inline connector cable to the electronics module and the hydro generator. Open the battery compartment and install the four AA batteries as shown. Then replace the battery cap. Next, install the entire electronics module assembly onto the spout shank, making sure the black O-ring is within the hex nut adapter. Ensure all connections are tight. Connect the water line to the L-filter and secure the connection. Turn on the water supply valves to their fully open position. Ensure that the sink deck is clear of all tools and any debris and is in normal operating condition. Connect the sensor inline connector cable to the sensor cable from the spout. The faucet will now flow water and has entered calibration mode. Do not wave anything in front of the sensor while the water is flowing. Calibration can last up to one minute. When the water stops flowing, wait another 30 seconds and then test the faucet with your hands to ensure the sensor is calibrated. Well, I hope you found this installation video helpful. If you encountered issues, you can reach out to Zern's expert team for support. And check out our library of other how-to videos on our YouTube channel.